to the team, Lisa Rocket. At small four, Deshaun Tate. At the other forward position, Daniel Tice. At shooting guard, Jalen Green. At center, Christian Wood. At the other guard position, John Wall. The head coach of the visiting team is Steven Silas. starting in Orlando and going up against the Magic. And then on Friday, the San Antonio Spurs come into town, tipping off a homestand for them. And this is a perfect situation for them coming up. They'll be facing a lot of teams that they should beat, and those games will be at home. Can't ask for a better stretch of the schedule. A look at the opening lineup for the Houston Rockets. The backcourt made up of Wall and Green. The pairing up front, Tice and Wood. And it's Tate in at the threesome. And for the 76ers, outside the wings of Curry go. Green. The stars of this team in the post, Harris and Embiid. And it's Russell in at the point. And at the midway point, Chris, what stands out about this phase of the regular season to you? Well, usually the standings have solidified, Kevin. The favorites, the cellar dwellers. We have some great stories. Well, this is where the front offices has to take a hard look at the roster and maybe look to make some moves as well. Now, here's Russell. He turned in an outstanding game against Brooklyn. Green kicks the wall. Back to Green. But Trey leads it from downtown. Well, and Green. That's just a great setup by Wall. I mean, he used his vision, found the open man. Russell hit the ball. They'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a three-point game. Green left 
76 in touch. That's his first personal touch. First team touch. Shooting for Houston, John Wall. Taking two shots. He's all about team success right now. Looking for that elusive shot. to see Wall beat a couple major injuries. Had to attack rehab twice. Doesn't always get enough credit for his dedication to the game. Drummond's checked in for Philadelphia. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for the Rockets. He hits both from the strike. And for Wall, Greg has his game charged at all now that he's into his 30s. And he's so much stronger now. Just as loud as the community set around you. Better at varying the tempo and controlling the pace of the game. Now here's MB. And we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. It's all about the size and the skill of the game. Yeah. It makes him so tough. Sometimes you just got to fire. In a moment now, we'll look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Houston. They've carried out a great game plan in the paint so far. Working it down low. Take a break. Take a break. Percentage of Two shots. And also another aspect of their game that's been super so far today is how they've been sharing the basketball. First one falls for. Okay, when you bring up the process to Embiid, he just says it's an ongoing thing. Yeah, he's explained it a few times. I mean, it's a process from making the playoffs. Then another one for the conference finals. Then another one just to go to the finals. And that doesn't even have you winning a ring yet. <laughs> Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Matisse Thibel checked in for Harris. Jake Milton comes in for Curry. And Maxi subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. Last season, Embiid posted career highs as a score. And Greg, he did it with unbelievable efficiency. And how about hovering around that coveted 50-40-90 club? What's amazing is how comfortable he looks. The defense is never able to speed him up. The shot's good. Oh, no. And he just Over Drummond. The Rockets with another miss. 
down low is Tice and the layup ball. Tice. Tice has got his second bucket of the game to go. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Here's the basketball beat. And here's Drummond, defended by Tice. Ball is not loose. It's stolen by Tice. Martin kicks to Gordon. And a miss there on the triple. The 76 is trailed by six. Now, here's Feiber. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Nice D from Porter. Outside, Martin. Back to Gordon. This is why you have to involve Gordon. The big role machine is a high percentage shooter, he says. That's to MB. Bible kicks to Drummond. Here's MB. Sinks the 11 foot. MB has got eight points. Hey, boy. protection top of the list without question they can look to the high percentage of the trade that they like to reverse all right the standings in the east we'll take a look at the 76ers holding on to second spot in the conference a great season for them so far and for philadelphia they had a few critics coming into the season and now i don't think they have any this is a club ready to not only make a deep run but possibly win it all you know that's the mindset you have to have they know if they can get to the playoffs they have the talent to do some real damage So far, nothing on the scoreboard yet. It's stolen by Martin. Augustine with it. Martin with the screen on trouble. Here's Augustine. Martin trying to free himself up. And he stays with it. Six to shoot. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. And there's a call on the test level. Matisse that is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Thank you. 
lead already here. It is Isles. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Christian Woods jumped in for the Rockets. Both free throws. 32 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Augustine dishes to Porter. Wood with the screen for Porter. To the inside. And there's Wood. That's good on the assist by Porter. Wood's got eight points. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Here's Harris. He really was a guy who also stepped up in that win against the Nets. Gets it off. And no luck with that time on the That's buzzer beater. The first and so is Houston score. holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. Right back after this break. Um, you know, just look to impose myself, just look to dominate. I guess I need to go back to having fun and just dominate. Then. And certainly, Embiid has shown he can dominate. MVP level talent. He's just got to bring it every time down the floor. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And for the Rockets, here they've been putting on a showdown. So, well, the offense is clicky, and they seem to have seen the momentum here early on. You know how many coaches say you want to start fast? Now let's see if they can maintain that intensity. On court, built in by Green at three, and Harris at the four. Curry is out there with Russell, and it's Drummond in at the center, filling out the middle. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Let's go down to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Houston Rockets are rebuilding. That's a hard pivot for a team that until last season was pursuing titles. The new front office has been candid. If any challenges, they look to go young and stack up draft picks. They plan to make constant bets on unproven talent as they build for the future. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes up on the high post. Curry can't get it to go. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. Here's Wall. Nice deep from Russell. And George Russell with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a 13-point game. The 76ers with 
with another miss. Houston's gone three of six tonight when they let it fly from downtown. And Russell, a player known for his offense, but Greg, he's put in work to improve his play on defense as well. Yeah, Russell is known for his lack of defense there for a while. He's been trying to improve that part of his game. Sean Tate. It's a long road, but I tell you what, he is definitely taking steps. There he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. So, so much of it. Open the beat and charge. Now here's Trumpet. His scoring has been more than regular versus. He's averaging more than 15 points a game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. It's almost a sure thing that Drummond's name is going to be near the top of that list. On Gray That's the kind of impact on the floor. He's changed to his career. That free throw, no good. And Greg, when it comes to players who've led the league in rebounding, very few have done it as many times as Drummond. And of the guys that have done it more than twice, like Andre, I've got some good news for him. Every one of them is either in the Hall of Fame or soon will be. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Daniel Tice comes in for Christian Wood. And Eric Gordon subbed in for David Mwaba. Take a word of advice. Let the big man. And both free throws, good for Drummond. Greg, you played on one of college basketball's all-time super teams. It's hard to imagine we'll see that kind of dominance over several seasons like you guys had at UNLV. It's true, and we still see dominant teams, but you know, the difference is now down the teams tend to only play together for one seed. And so that makes it really hard to run together stretches where you can call yourself a legitimate dynasty. But I still love where our game is and look forward to watching them that men chase their dream. And Philadelphia has possession. And the Rockets pick up three. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And the foul called on the Houston Rockets. The and the fourth number plays with really making the defense. And the first thing you notice about shot. Green, the next level athleticism, incredible burst off the dribble. Uh, take a break. Take a break. Two air. shots. The first one falls. And one can only imagine what Green will be like, right, with a little time. He's still refining his shot release, still working on getting others involved. But we haven't seen a two-guard into the league with this much potential in quite some time. And both free throws, good for Drummond. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Now, here's Green. He's coming off a 19-point game against Denver. Back the wall. Tice with the screen on Russell. Not the most picked up in the quarter. The shot selections get a little bit. They get it back. And another miss. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah. 
Brian Brown is down. All right, That's his first personal foul. Who do you think right now? First team foul. Now oh, into the lineup the is 76 Terrific backwards to choose from. Phoenix has got to be in that conversation with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. But I'll tell you what, with the Splash Brothers help me get back at it, it's just hard to beat that combination. James, no good. That's a shot that we're always happy.
Matisse Thibel checked in for Green. Shake Milton comes in for Seth Curry. And Maxi subbed in for Russell. Houston with a big group substitution here. Wood, he's checked in for Daniel Tice. Kenyon Martin Jr. comes in for Tate. Kevin Porter's checked in for Green. And DJ Augustine subbed in for John Wall. possession here. 17 points. That's the biggest margin. Quarter Stop. junior. The assist goes to David Nalama. 76ers trail by 13. And here's Maxi. No points in the game yet for him. Milton finds a lead. Shot from 12. And the 76ers tap on two more. Certainly for the state of the very comfortable. The assist. Now Augustine Wood with the screen for Porter Running to the basket Now to go for the basket He's now 3 for 4 And, and he has really come to life here After a slow start in that first quarter Maxi passes to Harris A minute 42 left to play in the first half
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one hits. And the 76 is making a change here. Drummond's checked in. Think of the effort in the first half. The effort's fine, I guess. Uh, defensively, we got to be better, so that's part of the effort. But they're just scoring too easy. They're throwing us around. They have so much more of the physical team right now, so we got to pick up our physicality. I'm sure that will be discussed thoroughly before the next half. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Hey folks, first off, looking ahead to All-Star Weekend, let's see who's in the running to compete in the three-point contest. And the three-point shootout. Kenny, what does it take to prepare to compete? Well, it's really difficult earning shooting off a rack. And because catching the ball off of a rack and someone throwing to you is totally different or shooting off the dribble. It is a different type of shot. What do you think, Shaq? Let me call Steph Curry. He's not answering. He can't answer, I can't answer. You're really asking Shaq, who has one career three-pointer? Yeah, but it went in. He has one career make. Yeah, but he's only, like, taken two, so he's, like, 50%. And now turning our attention to this game, we have seen a very confident performance for the Houston Rockets. The difference so far has been the efficiency of their offense. Their ball movement is really good. They're not afraid to use the whole shot clock if they have to. Overall, they're making every position count. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. Shot. 
shot by Tobias Harris. And Wall. Here we go now. And the reception by MB. And he gets it back. Second shot opportunity. And four of the shot. So he'll get a chance to win. That's his second personal force. The first thing to think about John Wall has to be his athleticism. For you, He's a smaller player. John he Wall. can do big things two like shots. slam dunk contest and outrun most of the Shoot guys. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. And now Wood is laser focused putting up all-star numbers over long stretches. And you look at where he started compared to where he is now. Wood may be one of the most improved players we've ever seen, especially if he continues to ascend from here. So he gets them both. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the 76 down by 15. And this game is done. They'll be off to our game. They're going to take on the match. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Trying to go for the alley, but actually he does an anticipation there this time. Here's Green. And that one is off. And the Rockets take it the other way. Over in the corner, Green. Wall's got his fourth assist in this one. The 76ers trail by 18. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Outside, Green. Six on the shot clock. Down ball. Stop the run. And he sinks the lead. got 14 points for the Sixers. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in the trouble. Two, one, the
Gordon's checked in. A moment now to see the numbers for MB. Second in blocks, fourth in rebounding. And how about his top 10 ranking in free throw percentage? A knockdown shooter, ultra reliable from the line. Mm -hmm. And as you said, one rung below the leader in block shots. Tremendous motor. He He's simply been destroying opponents in the lane. Here's Russell. Pass to Harris. Outside Curry. Embiid with it. He's now made half of those 10 shots in the game. That's his own basket. Good as screen on Russell. Here's Wall. And Russell. He's putting on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Russell finds Harris. Here's Green. veteran he's earned the right he always seems to bring the guys together and the first one at the line is good yeah he's the 19th pick in the 2011 NBA draft I mean Harris entered the league after a quality year as a Tennessee volunteer Andre Drummond's checked in for Philadelphia Matisse Thibel comes in for green And, and the Rockets with possession here. They led the game at one point by 20. And at the conclusion of this game, they're off to Washington. They'll face the Wizards. That'll be the second of his two-game road trip. Good. Good. And you see rolling out of the screen. What is the fluid out of the pass to Drummond. Outside Russell.
Nate Milton comes in for Seth Curry. And Maxey subbed in for Russell. Houston with a big group substitution here. Martin's checked in for Wood. David Mwabach comes in for Tate. Kevin Porter's checked in for Green. And DJ Augustine subbed in for John Wall. Gordon. I see him, I see him. Over the table. Time is up no good, a bit short. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that close. Yeah. This is in like Rock it, who knows it's the best DJ thing they can do to try to get him for it. That's his second good. personal foul. And a chance second for just a second foul. to check out the scoring breakdown. At the for the Rockets, Rockets right I love how they've attacked Tyrese the basket in this game. Matthew. They've taken a very aggressive Two control. Shots. Yeah, but I also like the balance because they're doing a great job of getting inside and converting around the rim. I, I really like their aggressiveness. He throw good, Maxi. Shots good from the strike. They made every single here in the second half. Now Augustine always going up for the LU here. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the LU. Now here's Steiner. Pass to Drummond. Come it good. Drummond's got four points for Drummond. You gotta body him up when he's in the paint. You play off of him, and that's just too easy for him. Augustine dishes to Gordon. The screen, looking to get it going. And it's set up by Drummond. And Drummond has fearsome defensive presence. And he can put him on the edge. Now, here's Fiber. Defended by Gordon. And an offensive rebound. And Drummond's first goal. Greg, he keeps so many possessions on, doesn't he? Yeah, okay, he does. And the defense has to be aware of his position. The 76ers trail by 10. Here's Harris. And with that one, well, the lead is trimmed to single hit. Harris has got 25 points in the game. Inside, here's Gordon. Martin trying to bring himself up. Assistant, David Six Mabamba. points for Eric Gordon. And it's showing how effective he can be as positioning Gordon. He plays with confidence and close to the ball. Passes to Maxi. Played in with a nice touch on the ball. Maxi is on six. They tailored their offense around. Let me tell you, he loves playing in the system. Augustine passes to Porter. Fifth rebound right now in the game. And got to the down shot, so he'll be shooting for the first one. And that's his first personal foul. Gives them third the team foul. Good, Reverend. He's 6'6 with the At the line for Philadelphia. Shake, real good. Shot release. Taking two shots. 
low, but because of his height, it hasn't been a problem. First free throw is good. Daniel Tice is checked in for his... All free throw is good for Milton. It's leading by six. And here's Porter. Seven points in the game. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Harris has got his fourth down with that last four years in the And 
Let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. We put on a platter. You put on the platter and you serve cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. Well, this has been a great contest. So far. <laughs> At the line for Philadelphia, Andre Drummond. Two shots. Two, two. Ties it up, and this next one will give them the lead. So one for two that time with the strike. Boy, a little love to grab the lead there. I can't make him up. Here's Wall. Good. It's pretty good in the process. Wall's got 25 points. You know, it's great to see Wall assert himself on offense so far. Man. He just can't slow down the score. And B with a screen on Wall. Zulfan is green. Zulfan's on. Back to green. Good ball movement here by the 76. Shot clock at five. Curry dishes to Embiid. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Embiid's got it all the time. The 76 will fit. Outside, one. Rebound on Drew Drummond. Drummond's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And there's the goal. Seven sixes for Embiid. Joel Embiid. That's foul number two for That's him. That's his second personal foul. The Rockets shooting at 50% in a decent group. Loads it up for Wood. Embiid with the steal. Loads it up high. It's tipped. It's stolen by Tate. Gordon up on top. Guarded by Kirk. And trying to free himself up. And that Jaylen one good. Green. And the Rockets lead by two. And you want him taking big shots for you in the big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Coach trusted him to make when he plays down the stretch. I mean, because he's shown that ability time and time and time again. That's to Drummond. Just fine on the clock. And he's the old shot. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Sixers, Joel and Boone. Taking three shots. First of three. Yeah, I mean, the continued growth of Embiid as a player has been truly remarkable. I mean, he's put in the work and evolved his game in some pretty impressive ways. Ties it up, and this next one will give them the lead. a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he was in the post. Russell against Wall. There's the drive. Here's Tate. And good from outside. The 76 is shooting. Four makers up on the field. To the inside. There's MP. Here's Gordon, and it's set back by Drummond, and he's able to get it back. 
streak. since entering the league at just 19 years old. And so Russell hits him both. against Green. Pocket four. Green gets the Harris. Takes the three. The Rockets pull it in. Did a lot of damage from the three-point range in the first half. But so far in the second, he hasn't done a thing. Goes it up for Wood. Oh, and he's getting away of the alley. Not to be. Good play eventually. Russell feeling it out a bit. This is it to Embiid. Over Gordon. That one is good. Here's your round and beat. And beat. He's got eight up to seven now. The Rockets have gone through with eight. Here's the first one. Three against Kirk. And he gets it back. And that one's good. Green. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Has to drum it outside curve. And here's MB. 
Good on the second. in for Drummond. That one misses. Here's Harris. Tate with the rebound. It's three by seven. And when you thought this fourth quarter 
was sent to the formality. All of a sudden, the offense picks up. And now we have a puzzle. Pitch to him. Pitch with the rebound. Woods got double digit rebounds around the game. Wall. Oh, 
Hooks it up for Wood. This could be the end of this night. That's not a surprise. Modern beat. Christian Wood.
Here's his shot. Wood can't hit. Eight seconds in between the shot clock and the game. Harris cross it to Russell. It's stolen by Wall. Boats it up for Wood. Stolen away. Got the ball in the game here opening the second half. Got the fourth personal choice. Got the foul there. At the line for your sixth in the race, D'Angelo Russell. At the line for two. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. So both free throws are good. Mm -hmm. It's a good point mm -hmm. game. Big time free throws there. That could be the difference. It forces them now into a three-point attempt. All right, man. It's T-shirt time. We got three shirts. Who wants to make the noise? All right. Coming up to the ball right now. It's your sixers. And it is.
the three to Embiid. Oh, missed it. And that's going to do it for the division. So we are running out of time. Time from Philadelphia. You're watching 2K Sports.
good. And now he is going to touch his body. That's his third personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for your Sixers, D'Angelo Russell. At the line for two. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really want. He's got one more, though. He's able to hit the second one, and that makes it a second-point lead. Hey, guys, overtime not nearly as competitive as regulation. They've used up all their energy just getting it to overtime. And they've been a Satisfying home win. What does the support feel like in front of these fans? Oh, it's great. Great home court. They bring that energy every game, uh, even when we're struggling. So, uh, I mean, it's much appreciated, and it, it felt good to get this win. There's a team effort and a crowd effort as well. Congrats. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. As we leave you with our new balance player of the game, Joel Embiid.